Okay guys, about to start uh, building the uh, G-Tech uh, 3D printer and uh, I figured I'd take you along with me step by step. This is just basically I'm unpacking the box, nothing major, just to show you what's inside. Looks like we get a, it's a mouse pad, I'd much rather have had a shirt but that's cool. Extra filament, cool. Um, I'm guessing that's the wrap for the uh, wiring, the parts, it's the frame of it anyway. So we'll be starting with the frame today. And I'm not sure why these were in a static bag, it was more parts for the frame. And this is number one is bolts, washers. Oh, and dirt's included. These are all bolts, parts which you'll have to go through. The wiring for the stepper motors. So all the rods. Threaded ones. Now I've seen online that people have said that they've had a lot of problems with these. I'm hoping maybe they uh, fixed it by now. They've been out for a while. Cord. Okay, in this part we have the USB cable. This stuff we'll probably leave in here for now. Um, here's your main board. Cables for the stepper motors. Uh, a power switch. Not sure what that is. Oh, that's the LCD display. Uh, wire ties and tie wraps and everything else. I think this is your. Well, it comes with a glass. Sweet. I was wondering if I'd have to uh, supply my own. It does come with it. Surprised it didn't break. It's got wire underneath it. Yikes. Must be thick wire. Uh, thick glass. Cool. And then we got another plate under that. What else you got here? You got your extruder with the stepper motor on it. These are your stepper motors. There's four of them. I'm not too sure what these are used for. I believe that goes on the extruder for the uh, extra fan if you want to put a fan on it. Some more parts in here for the extruder. But uh, we'll leave that all in there for now. And last but not least, your power supply. An open power supply. Yay! I might have. Uh, how many volts is this? It's 12 volts? Yeah, it's only 12 volts. I should be able to, uh, well, we'll use it for now, but I got a, an HP power supply that I could use that's way power, more powerful than this thing and um, less prone to fires. I could use this for the bench. I'd rather use it once in a while than constant. That's about it. I guess I'm going to get started. And I'll, uh, I'll give you updates when I. Uh, get somewhere with it. Just a word of warning, avoid the wood <laughs> uh, kit. It's uh, pretty nasty dirty. I mean, I'm making one hell of a mess. But uh, it's coming along. Well, that's as far as I got. Um, this kit is definitely not for an amateur. 
if you're not good with tools and problem solving, this probably isn't the type of kit for you. Uh, it's not plug and play. It's not like buying something at Ikea and everything fits. Uh, not everything fit on this and still don't. I'm running into all kinds of problems that everybody else has been running into. Like um, these two here went out great, but these two here are touching together so they're sort of like bent a little bit. So I'm going to have to file in between them straighten them out because they're so tight you can't even spin it. This one here you can. So this one here is not going to move for nothing. So there is that problem that I'm going to have to deal with. I'll have to take it apart and file it or grind it and give a little bit of a, a space in between this bracket and this bracket because they're so tight together. Um, I'm guessing that the uh, when the hole, a hole was drilled or punched for the metal, it uh, was too close together. But that one over there is fine. Uh, what else? This um, rod, the bottom one here, uh, was a p super pain in the butt. Um, it's it's a m like a micron thicker than the one on the top. So none of my end pieces fit. And it's not the, uh, I don't know you're thinking, it's probably the end, it's not, because I filed it down, I'll file it down some more, but it's, it's, not, it's not what it is. It just, they won't fit on there. I barely got it through there. I had to actually hone it out with a drill bit to uh, get it to fit. No problem there. But, um, yeah, what else? Got the bottom bracket, or this piece here is all lined up. I still got to put the um, pieces on this. Oh, and uh, this bracket here has to be screwed down. But uh, that's about it. Oof, a lot of work. And pretty messy too. Uh, this uh, wood wood um, printer is uh, I don't know. It's just covered in black. Everything is black. Hopefully, when that comes clean, it's not oil though. It's just like dust from cutting it. I mean, I, actually, I would have enjoyed it more if they would have left just blow, uh, like wood, wood veneer. You know what I mean? Instead of dyeing it black, might as well just go plastic. But yeah, that's the far as I got. I haven't even, I haven't even uh, brought up the electronics or anything. Still got a lot, a lot of ways to go. So, it's always tomorrow. Later, guys. This is an initial power up. Check everything. Sure there's problems, but we'll find out. Blows up. <laughs> I don't trust it. Wow, that did a lot. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm starting to see why they uh, they said to check the switch before powering it up. It's on 220. Yeah, 
and there was life. Wow, it's ready to go. working. Still gotta get it to uh, go home and everything else. I don't know how to do it. Gotta learn. Moment of truth. I've been working on it for hours. Finally got this to work. This um, brass uh, bearing there is warped, which everybody knows it's an issue with these. So I left it loose and there's something um, too it goes to the heater or the, the um, anyway it's uh it's warped so when you go to put the uh pla in there it um hits whatever's in there pretty irritating Thank you. 